Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of uh, the highest difficulty Jagged Alliance with all of uh, the cruel, cruel um, lethality options enabled. Good. So we left off uh, when we were at the bridge. In the meantime, a lot happened, mainly back and forth, back and forth. Still trade uh, because continuously new death squads are hitting this island, so I needed to retrain. Uh, and it's not really safe. The five uh, there aren't great either. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to move our other squad uh, there. for now because all they are doing anyways is training i had uh, them positioned here so that they can you have money. You may take so that they can get uh, mm, items Come for on. all of uh, the fake stuff here and you can see we got quite a few few remote detonators which we do not need we're rather taking parts instead but yeah we we got a couple of uh, interesting items Allows to set explosives and detonate them by a radio signal. That isn't bad, but it requires a lot of stealth and preparation. Good, and we got a nice little wisdom improval guide here. Time detonator. Yeah, well, some of it is useful, some of it isn't. Let's start with Done. forcing them to move right there. I need to powder my nose. And I also positioned a couple of items here for the other team. Specifically, I created a lot of uh, NATO standard ammunition uh, that I wanted uh, them to take, as well as a few grenades. So I guess we can now take them with us. Uh, in the meantime, Sterrett takes uh, that uh, medium armor. Good. Uh, can we? Hmm. Who's going to take the pistols? I think we wanted Flay to be in more in mid-range, uh, so we do have we do have a shotgun, we do have a submachine gun. Uh, one pistol will be taken by Blood, the knife uh, throwing guy, and either it's dual pistols for Flay or I tell you what, we're going to. Do dual pistols simply because I want to see how well that is going. The Winchester is great. It's kind of a backup in case things are not going well. All right, and I really want to use the short machete. Good. Second team sort of has okay equipment. Nothing like super fancy, nothing out of the ordinary. And I wonder if we want to give more light Carmo to Mouse, because she's midfield. Also makes it less efficient to aim against her. But she would lose protection on the arms, which always sucks. Nah, I think we're okay. I mean, the other option that we could give her... She doesn't have strengths, right? Oh, she does. Well, she could be a perfect uh, companion then. For the machete. Good. MP machete mouse. Check. I like it. Basically goes in and then at some point slashes the enemy. Good, cool. I like it. I wanted to do different builds, so we're going to have a lot of submachine guns here. And we don't need to figure everything out by now. C 
single pistol for Larry. Dual pistols. Are we doing the dual pistol Glock thing? That's a lot of hits. Do you have enough strength to pull that off? Yes, you do. All right. I guess why not? He's not going to get ambidexterant uh, just accidentally, but I think we we can still work with what we've got. Good. And what I would want you guys to do is help out here. Good. Prime team is no longer tired. Uh, we are very soon going to attack this outpost here. So it's actually helpful that a small squadron is coming in. I'm here. This where the party's at? Just double checking. I think we need to train some more militia. And I think Flay is going to do that because the others still need more stats. Good, and we're going to start with a small little fight on the island today, uh, on the bridge today, and then we're going to go for that camp. Well, the enemy is coming from. Okay, from down there. Easy enough. There. I'm thinking we should run a little side hustle on these dudes. What do you say? They will likely try to climb up here. They are definitely in a poor spot. Always the oh shit! There's an enemy over there. Okay. In my sight. Fighting is imminent. Good, not perfect, but we at least got an overwatch off. How can I assist? Good. This is a typical berry situation. Yes, I would describe it. <laughs> Lots of them together, and they're just literally waiting to get popped. Barry continues to move up. Hell yeah. Good. Very hunkers down. Maybe a bit out of line of fire. I do it. Igor moves up, drinky drinky, and takes cover. I'm packing steel. You feel me? I mean, bad guys, of course. Just the bad guys. Kill them all and send them to hell! Wow. I'm not sure how they even got angles. But it seems that they did. Good moves to here. Good odds of hitting enemy. No problem. Yeah, getting out of that with one wound, not perfect, but 
I completely underestimated that they can just shoot here. Oh, I want you to know that I sincerely believe you are my best friend. But on the other hand, look at that. Nate to standard, workshop packed standard, unload, 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 and we're getting parts as well. That indeed was super helpful. We got 600 parts now, just waiting for good weapons really. And got some NATO's ammunition, more than 500, workshop pack, yeah, almost 700. Hi. Yes, go. So I can say with Hello. certainty that the sniper route so far has been Let us see what the Lord in his substantially more us. efficient than anything else, uh, which is why I don't want to do it with a second a team. Of course. Good. First team begins to start a fight here. Camp Grand Prix. I like it. Got a machine gun nest and long open areas. Hello, well, that soldier. is helpful. Looks like he is just doing his job at the moment. We should try to do something special. I hit height three times. I hit height three times. It's ridiculous just how the game sometimes does not want you to start uh, hidden. Um, Michael here. Ready, action. Keep it in real. You got a good shot on this mother. Perseverance and faith, my friend. What the actual heck? Good. Igor teaches him a lesson. Good. Free move. And place himself down. Pretty good odds, I think. Smiles upon you, brother. Good. MD Presently in attendance. Okay. easily des uh, dissolves the sky. Oh, and we got a couple of snipers up here. Better to go unnoticed here. So, player, go on the ground. Ready to um do stuff. Hello. I am in movement. Good. Lay down. Yes. Moving to position. Going under cover. All right. Let's see if the enemy can see us. If not, they might be just running into us. Good hit. Uh oh. Uh oh, we got some uh, dudes with uh, rocket launchers. Uh, it's not even tickling, Igor. We would have been coming from any other direction than the one that we've been coming from. It would have been way easier. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Eyes here. Watch me pop a cap in this dude. Wow! It's so cool being on the winning side. I ain't playing with you. They cannot hit what they cannot see. With certainty. Barry moves over. I 
have no clear shot. Tries to hit the guy. Not um, happening. Michael here. Keep it in real. Word up. You straight tripping. MD present. Okay, we need to deal with a sniper uh, I first. I can't do it. Maybe someone better than me should take this shot. Acknowledged. Oh, quite begins to move up. And holds that side. Ready to um do stuff. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Okay, moving a little bit uh, further to each side. He must make three kills with special attacks, five limb shots. Well, wonderful. Well, it's not going to be that easy. Uncle's down. Lots of enemies are coming. Target is exposed. Good hit. This is a location. I must relocate. Very under. Good position to shoot. Explanation how this occurred. Come on, Barry. I see you, killer. Thank you. That was helpful. They cannot hit what they cannot see. It's an easy shot to make them cover. It's not technically murder if no one is around to see it. Sure. Carefully moving over here. Yo, watch my back. God, that should be a kill. Come on. I'm just gonna say it. I Good. really think that was completely hot. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Ready. Switch weapon. Hope oh, it moves over here. Missing? Is, is this a tactic? Yeah, well, that's okay if uh, you want to free move as part of it. Yes, go.
Very nice. Unfortunately, we're out of uh, further movements. So let's just hunker down here. Got one severely wounded though, which is good. The moment that he runs around, he will die. Ego takes a couple of hits, but that's okay, he's Igor. Well, that's a really full-fledged firefight. If we ever had one in the last few missions, there was a lot of sniping and stealthing. Oh, come on. Got a good shot on this mother. Perseverance and faith, my friend. Not good. Not hit what they cannot see would be pointless. MD present. I think I can, you know, get him. Good chance of me, um, not missing. We're good. Should probably get metal. Oh, people. Going there? Uh, you mean right now? All right, Barry. Moving toward destination. I have good odds of hitting enemy. Well, let's get this guy down. Oh, yes. Aiming. That was so cool. I wish I could shoot like that. Target locked. Nah, uh, that is something that Igor can do. Of course. Moves up. Hits this guy. Yes, go. Sees the sniper. Hits this guy. This guy down, but then I would have the MG. What? I don't have a good shot. Ready to shoot. Headshot. Well, hmm. hide and shoot. That is my game. Let's see if that would work. Now, nah. it would have been too good. I 
do it. Falls to the ground, and that's the end of the turn. I imagine how he's just like getting closer and you hear some suspenseful music like da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -da -dum. and then all of a sudden like a shark he's there Hello. Good. For sure, Ice Williams, level 7. Love it. So, here we had that extra crit chance, which would be helpful. Becomes inspired when making two crits in the same turn. And deals more crit damage, which would be great. And the inspiration is great as well. So, I mean... I'm almost inclined to take both of uh, those. I'm almost inclined to take both of those. Really strong. More crit damage is good. But the inspiration is even better. So this here will allow us to actually get crit. And the inspiration would help us to continue having enough aim to not miss. The 30% damage bonus is great. Extra crit damage isn't bad either. But let's go with the inspiration. I like it. Okay, I'm going to loot the area. And uh, we are then uh, going to take D9. And make our way slowly but surely to the Lansbach mine. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we can also train militia here. That might be something but team number two could do. And afford the front line there. All right. All right. So we got ourselves uh, that um, position back. Got finally. I uh, got the outpost here. I want to get Pentagruel to a hundred percent. Can't be that difficult. So uh, what I realized is we will likely. Uh, not need that many parts on the prime group but we will need a lot of parts on the secondary group or respectively should I say we need to uh, we need to modify their weapons I got one good find with the M24 rifle which with uh, 46 points of damage is actually a really nice sniper rifle and I am considering whether or not we want to replace the Dragunov uh, with that but the Dragunov on the other hand uh, does have really 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 good uh, mm, uh, attachments to it plus we are killing everything with one shot specifically with a hollow point ammunition in there uh, the headshots are just absolutely phenomenal and having that nice mixture uh, and if we need something that is a bit harder uh, for penetration, then gold fever would be the right thing. So I guess long-winded way, uh, I'm not sure if we need another sniper in this uh, team. We could, I suppose, replace this dragon off here, uh, so that the Iceman has another sniper, if if we want to go for a third sniper. I think that's not a completely unreasonable 
uh, thing to do. Let's get some armor piercing in. If we were to modify it, we definitely would want the thermal scope. That is just fantastic. At the moment it has a normal sniper scope. And listen, for now, I think just a couple of slight modifications here with a low number of parts is easy. We will need to get a good UV dot with a chip and a thermal scope with another chip. But we can do all of the other modifications already. So this baby is already a bad boy. Pew pew. Um, that would be a pretty good weapon for him uh, for longer distances whenever the Winchester isn't working. Thing has just a tiny bit more range. Everything else is fully modified, so don't see anything that we really need to modify here. This one here, the out of five, is just fabulous. Good, which means what we're going to do is we're going to hand that over to the second team Good. and help them to modify their weapons. I just want to make their start as easy as possible. Unfortunately, the part that I don't Hello. like you know, about the game you know, happens, is which important. is where we need to pay the mercenaries um, for their work. I don't know. That's... You know me, Cor My contract is of exp My contract is very hey. good. Yeah, that's almost 60 65,000 for the entire crew not cheap good we have one joint sector now and you can already see the sector stash has has been uh, piling up all of this is from all of the attacks that have happened right At least we're getting a lot of uh, salvage out of this. Good. So, lots and lots of ammunition. I would say a couple more pants that you might want. A sniper. Uh, Kevlar pants, I think. We're actually going to take that for Barry. Because uh, they fear it, they are as good as the, uh, as the flagged leggings, but we can still improve them to 50%. Okay. And you can see I did some strength training, so even Livewire can now uh, carry a little bit more, which is good. So, in terms of modifying weapons right so we got this here since we have life wire here might as well use her mechanical skills all right uh, accuracy bonus for subsequent attacks on the same target that is exactly what i would uh, use uv dot is perfect um decreases reliability but decreases ap costs 
I think that's good as well because we want to shoot often. Uh, accuracy bonus for the first aim level is doubled. That's good. Scope. Wider overwatch cone? No, I think what we want is first attack it counts as aimed three times. And larger magazine. Moderate accuracy bonus for higher um, aiming. I think that's good. Good, she now has a fully modified uh, MP5K. What she needs is armor piercing. Good, his weapon. What can we modify with the anaconda? I like the scope, that's funny. Um, it's a it's a good one because it is uh, AP efficient, and we do have increased range and increased accuracy bonus, reduced range. Now I think we want greater range. He does not have another weapon. So the weapon isn't bad, it's nicely modified now, and since it's his only weapon, I hope he's going to pack a punch with it. Let's modify this Winchester. Increased range. This would reduce the range. He does not have a lot of range elsewise. Good, but I, that's just a fallback. Increase accuracy bonus, wider overwatch. That's already what he has. Okay, and that was costing us, a, uh, that was costing whoever modified that a chip. Um, yeah, more clip size isn't bad. All of these cost chips, so that's not going to happen. And it's already illuminating the enemy. Silent attack. This one here is better. And what is that? Moderate attack bonus for subsequent attacks. It's a question, do we want to have silent attacks? Um, or do we want to have moderate accuracy bonus? I'm concerned that these guys won't hit. But the actual additional crit chance is not bad at all. Crit chance bonus that scales with Merc level. Mm. I think this is simply better. Good. The weapon looks very much modified now. Let's modify the Dragonov for you guys. Definitely silent attacks, definitely that. Currently thermal scope, that's perfect. Heavy stock, that's perfect. And a bit of an expanded magazine. This is a fantastic Dragonov. Whoever is getting that can consider themselves very lucky.
Uh, that is Mama's argument invalidator, so nothing needs to be modified there. And let's modify the other weapon. Crit chance, I think this is still the best. Moderate crit chance bonus for subsequent attacks. Nah, we're going to go with that. Good. Two fully modified uh, pistols. And we've just, uh, we just sank 250. into. Uh, 250 parts into the weapons here. Did they have any other weapon? I wish we would have brought another kind of SMG, but what we can do hmm. Nah, I think we're okay. I mean all they need now is another pistol and another SMG. Do we? Does the main team have another pistol? No, but if push comes to shove, uh, we're just going to hand the Glock 18 out. Um, that's fine. <coughs> Upgrading pens on whoever needs them. Good, we're scratching the rest. And this will increase wisdom, which is a rare, uh, which is a rare option. Did we have anyone who needed wisdom? I think we're just going to give it to Hawkbite. Just got better. There you go. Good. We can get rid of two of uh, these because uh, the other team already is wearing four of the trousers. Okay. Look, that seems like a very reasonable, reasonable outcome. Taking that, taking that, leaving the knives behind. And we wanted to share a bit of the love here. Do we even have a lot of NATO rounds? I think the answer is no. Not a single weapon with NATO rounds, so... All of the special ammunition we can hand over, specifically armor piercing stuff. Although wait, uh, the 552 we might not want to hand over, that we want to hand over. And yeah, let's. Split that again, good. Prime team is getting paid for all of the parts in ammunition. Cool. So the only thing that is missing for the secondary team is another, um, another highly modified MP. But they will they will eventually get that 
We got uh, Flave with the Winchester, which is good, and the Dual Pistols. We got uh, a Modified Anaconda. The MP5K, I want to see how well that is going to do, and uh, we have plenty of other stuff. The M14 isn't really modified uh, that well, but I suppose that's okay. Is there anything missing? Anything major? Yeah, listen, I mean, you can modify it quite far, but that would take a lot of parts and for something that he's not even using that often or not at all regularly, uh, that is not worth it. I'm going to land here. Letting the other team train and do their stuff. And we're going to explore D9 before the episode ends. So let's see what we got. Savannah Heat, Hello. that's what we got. We have agreement. We will do. No problem. We have enemy. Oh, 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 oh. Eagle. Great. Claudine was uh, captured. <laughs> I will try to remain hidden. Quiet. Don't touch me. I'll stab you like this one here. The poor asshole deserved it. He got himself killed by a little girl for fuck's sake. Help! Shoot them! Shut up, bitch! We'll deal with you later. Alright. Cold justice. Well, that was not the strongest of all conflicts. Got a nice little elephant fell here. Unload, scrap for parts, and we're getting back to our 250 parts. Of them off by myself. Now I should get back to my brother in the refugee camp. He must be worried sick about me. Please, come see us if you are ever nearby. Let's go. Let's move. I do not know what it is, but we should probably take it just in case we need it. Device disarmed with precision. Good refugee camp. How can I assist? We're moving. We're moving. Lots of salvage left and right. I like that. Very under. We out it. Yes. And we, the only thing that is a problem at the moment is we don't have enough income. I still wanted to start that second team, but without a reliable extra mine, We're moving. all we can do at the We're moment moving. is have one and a half teams. Not a perfect uh, state, sure. we'll but it gives the second team Let's also bounce. a bit more time to train. Um, I have uh, selected a couple of characters that do have yes. potential if they are properly trained. But it seems dexterity and agility are very, very important in combat. You want to have a lot of the action points and you want to hit your shots. First and foremost. I must speak with you about something very important to the revolution. Come and meet me in Pantaguel. Okay, well, we can Over do that. Of course. I have reached the destination now. Let's see what he wants to talk about. Hello. We do it. With certainty. Heading out. My brave Maquis. Grand Chien has changed. I see it in the intel reports. I feel it in my bones. I smell it on the wind. 
There is no one that lives who still remembers the old resistance. No one but me. And I'm tired of fighting. I'm thinking that the time has come oh, wow. for Savannah Lion to step down. What about your Marquis? My Marquis are nice boys and girls. They are good at following orders, but there is not one visionary among them. Who will succeed you? I have watched you closely. I see what you are doing, and I already know it. You will bring the change that Grand Chien needs. You have proven to me that you care about our life, our struggle, our pride. You know about our problems, and you have the strength to solve them. Whatever power I have, mm. I give it to you. To help you. Do wow. not disappoint. This is great. I give you Force Noir and the Oh, finally. Of Do you have a family? The revolution was always my bride. And the man How about Maman Lian? <laughs> mm, she's been trying to get me to retire for years. Lilian is a good woman, and I well, as the Marquis leader, I needed to remain devoted to the cause. I do not object to her profession, but now that I have found fresh leadership for the Marquis, perhaps I can allow myself. Will she have me? Uh, sh sh you will make her happy, yeah? I have seen so many battles in my life, and I was never as nervous before a fight as I am now. But I will trust you. I'll ask her. And you know what? I won't need the lion's roar where I'm heading. Here. What is the lion's roar? Wow, we got a lot of... Wow, we got a lot of uh, everything. What a great music in the background. Okay, the lines roar. Very noisy. Uh, mm. What a fantastic music in the background. Reloaded with a 9mm standard. High damage, shorter range. This is our weapon. Well, that's not bad. I like it. Um, good submachine gun. Burst fire, auto fire, single shot for 4 AP. I wonder, do we want to give Lion's Roar, Uzi, there you go Barry, you got the Lion's Roar. Twenty-six range, sixteen damage. Uh, 33 damage and that is 24 damage I like the music in the background super good tune Good, we got shape charges available and we got the lion's roar. I still like the Uzi, we're maybe handing that over if we have time to the other team. Cool, so let's see. We got Calm on the fire, we got Vanguard, which isn't bad. Uh, I like the damage reduction. So maybe he should be uh, using Overwatch then as well.
We could go for fast runner. We could um, give him iron clap for more armor that he can wear. He does have heavy armor, right? Yeah, he does definitely have heavy armor. I like the hold position because 46% uh, percent damage reduction is great. Um. I think we're I think we're actually going for hold position. Because it means he can simply overwatch from time to time. I will play him a bit different with that. But boy, that is good. And look at his stats. He is absolutely phenomenal. 46% damage reduction, not bad at all. Grid here, grid there. I like battle focus as well. Getting that extra AP for next turn can be helpful. And we definitely want ironclad. And likely a bit more fast runner afterwards. So yeah, his core build is done as far as I'm concerned. Fifty percent more damage against flanked enemies is also good. That's kind of a stable standard that you could almost take for most of the characters. But for now, let's go with the hold position because that's a super strong, uh, super strong option. As for MD, we got high morale when starting combat. I think the painkiller might be helpful. And then he almost has all of the good skills that's needed for him as well. So I think the next one could be Dead Eye and Flanker for two further skills. And then maybe Trick Shot. But almost no one really survives. So could take Lightning Reflexes then. Uh, that is just a very very strong perk as well But let's go with painkiller. I like that extra grit How can I assist? Just out of curiosity to, um, can you play uh, play that game? No um, Cannot heal someone who MD is at full health One can only admire the courage of Larry Roachman Costumes were really something this year. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. We got 6,000 incoming per day, which also means we are now at a point where we can finally get that second team going. So, uh, they still need to train. That's a given, but we can help them to train a bit uh, a bit faster so we do have in the second team we do have larry who is uh, kind of running mid uh, field we wanted uh, flay to be midfield with dual pistols as well and from time to time winchester maybe we do have uh, bobby who is uh, frontline 
and we do have another midfield mp5 um, mouse so what we now want is a sniper and another frontliner and we wanted blood uh, or i wanted blood for sure it's a frontliner and then since we're not going down uh, the route of ambidexterity although this would have really been nice uh, to put flay in the background i think we're going to go with her she has the teaching perk also makes teaching faster so let's contact Hello. This is Monica Sandegard. It is a ple very well. And let's go with blood here. Blood here. What is up? All right. Now you're fabulous. And blood also has improved accuracy with melee attacks, improved defense against melee attacks. That's good. And a lot more throwing options, which helps. And he does have the flying daggers, which means he can reposition just with the daggers. That's so cool, because we can... Does he have uh, explosive skill? Yes, so we can give him a grenade in the other hand. And it's just daggers instead of a pistol, uh, because he can reposition with the flying daggers. And then his second weapon, since he also can uh, melee with them, I suppose. Second weapon might be a an SMG. Or, yeah, an SMG, maybe something with a little bit longer range. This here, I don't know how much range it has. Okay. Port Cacao is very likely what we want because we need to get these guys going. And even with them, we're still making a healthy plus. That mine is so good and it's very rich. Okay. The game has definitely turned, guys, in our favor. Uh, that's the end of today's episode. We are going to explore uh, the mountains up here next and then maybe get the Lansbach mine uh, to save that as well. And in the meantime, I will try to defend uh, that little island. That'll be super helpful to do that. All right. Have a good one. See you soon. And uh, see, uh, see you in two days. Bye-bye.